Welcome to the Java programming series and today we will understand how to write down the program to swap the values of two variables without using the third variable. So before we jump into the program, let's try to understand the definition of the program. So we have to swap the values of two variables without using third variable. So previously we did the same program, but we did using the third variable, right? So now we don't have to use the third variable. Still, we have to swap the values of two variables, right? So first of all, let me just try to take the two variable. Uh, let's say integer a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20. Perfect. So now I will just try to print the value of a and value of b. Okay. So if I'll try to run this program now, what will be the output? So definitely output will be 10 and 20. Right, we are just trying to print the value of a and b. So if you look at the structure of the memory, so in the memory, we currently have a variable a, which has a value 10 and another variable b, which has a value 20. So now our target is we have to store 20 into a and 10 into b, right? So we want to swap the value, but we don't have to use the third variable. So how can we do this? You can try to pause the video and try to brainstorm. How can we swap the values of two variables without using third variable? So let's try to do some mathematics here. So let's try to do addition of these two numbers 10 plus 20 is equal to 30. So here, if we have a two values, if we have any of these two values, we can able to find out the third value, right? If we have a 10 and 20, we can do the addition. We will get the 30. If we have a 20 and 30, definitely we will get the 10, right? And if we have a 10 and 30, definitely we will get the 20, right? So following the same principle, we will just try to swap the values of A and B. Perfect. So first of all, uh, let me just try to do the addition of A and B. And then the addition, I will just try to store in any of the variable, right? So I'll just try to do A plus B. And let me just try to store into the A. So A plus B, which is the 30 and I will try to store into the A. Perfect. So this is my first step. So in the second step, now you can see we want the 10 into the B. So can we get the 10 into the B? Yes, we can do A minus B, right? So we can do A minus B and whatever value we are getting A minus B, which is 30 minus 20, we will get the 10, right? So that we can store into the B. Perfect. So now inside the B, we got the targeted value, which is the 10. Perfect. Now we just have to get the 20 into A, right? So currently the value of A is 30, right? And value of B is 10, right? So we can just write down A minus B. That means 30 minus 10 and we'll get the 20 that we can store inside the A, right? So A will get 20, B will get 10. Right. So it will be a swap of our original value. Perfect. So let me just write down this three statement into our program. So first of all, I will just try to write down a is equal to a plus b. Second, b is equal to a minus b. And the third one, a is equal to a minus b. Perfect. So let me just try to run this program and we should get the output 20 and 10. Perfect. So previously we had a 10 and 20 after we did something and we got the 20 and 10 right so here we are swapping the value of two variables without using the third variable so we are just doing some mathematical operation and we are swapping the values of two variables so this program can be done using multiplication and division as well so if you can able to do this program using multiplication and division try to comment into this video so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any comments regarding this video try to write down into the comment section thanks everyone and we'll see you into the next video